Welcome to tonight's recap of Hell's Kitchen. Last week, that annoying Colleen went home. Oh, and everyone God. was, like, upset about it. Yeah. Like, I... she was the mom. Blah. <laughs> okay. She was the annoying mom. Yeah. So, Jay misses his family. He's totally praying at the altar <coughs> of his family's pictures. <coughs> and he promises his son's picture. <coughs> he's not <coughs> effing up again. <laughs> All right. So, the next dinner service, this is Hell's Kitchen history, will be... For a bar mitzvah. Oh, Ben <coughs> just about crapped his pants. He's like, hello, I'm a Jew. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Ben, explain bar mitzvah to everyone. I don't get it. No, I'm just kidding. It's pretty much the signature move for Jews. <laughs> so, <laughs> the mom and the grandma of the bar mitzvah boy show up. <laughs> I love that he called him I bar know. mitzvah boy. And they tell the chefs that his favorite foods are hamburgers, chicken soup, and brisket. My Maxi, he loves my hamburgers, and his first dish was brisket. He just loved it. Yeah. So, <laughs> you gotta love Bubby. <coughs> so, each team will make over those three dishes for fine dining, because yes. that's what Hell's Kitchen is all about. It's all about the fine dining and the cursing. So then Max, the bar mitzvah boy, shows up to judge. Mm -hmm. And first round was the chicken soup. Andrea versus Giovanni. So Giovanni took that one because it looked more normal. I think there was too much green stuff in the ladies' yeah. chicken soup. So then next round was the brisket. <coughs> and that was L.A. and Ben. <coughs> ben totally sold the fact that he was a Jew. That wasn't fair. That was just nasty. He was just like, I'm a Jew and I've been cooking brisket forever and I yeah. hope you enjoy my Jewish brisket because I'm Jewish. Well, By the way, did I happen anyway. to mention I'm Jewish? Yeah, because they really like the barbecued brisket that L.A. made with the cherry glaze on it. So, the burger round is the one to decide. Carol versus Robert. Everyone was telling, telling Carol not to put blue cheese crumbles in the middle of her burger, but she didn't <coughs> listen. She says, my kids love it. So, uh, Robert, I don't know, his burger didn't look very good. Mm. It, it, the fries looked, like, all soggy and greasy, and the burger was, like, as big as my face. Yeah. So, apparently Maxie didn't like the blue cheese crumbles either. No, because he chose Robert's burger. Right. Not before, though, he got a hard sell from Carol and Robert. It's true. They would, oh, they just wouldn't shut up. I hate that. It was like the annoying girl in edited, Sam's though. Club today. It, yeah, it could have been. But uh, the men's team, as their reward, get to go to Skin Haven Spa. Ooh. And the ladies have to transform the dining room into a bar mitzvah room, All a.k.a. Right. sports stadium. Yes, yeah, so JP's arch nemesis, Francisco. JP, JP. Showed up. He's, yeah. he's planning the party. <laughs> oh, that guy is just too much. But at the spa, oh, there was just way too much skin for me. Way too much. They were, like, scrubbing them down like the <laughs> elephants at the zoo. <laughs> With, like, loofahs and yeah. paint and stuff. I didn't mud need to see all that. And, no. And uh, the men and Lacey were wrapped up like souvlaki. You know when you go to the Greek place and they wrap you up in that thing and they twist it? <laughs> <coughs> I'm not yeah. eating that anymore. Thanks all right. So Back in Hell's Kitchen. Uh, Carol and Andrea are really not getting along too well. No. Not at all. They're trying to put the floor together and... Uh, no. no, Andrea was like, I need to hammer now. <coughs> you know, I'm sure she was like, this is Carol's head. Uh, uh. So, let the bar mitzvah begin. All right, man of the hour, Max arrived. Maxi, oh, who could imagine such a thing? So, it's time for the horror. Ladies, as part of your punishment, you have to carry around Max on the chair. I thought they only did this at weddings, but I, I guess they do it at bar mitzvahs, too. But, thank God, they didn't dump him. <laughs> really would have been bad. Yeah. So, dinner service is underway, and all the appetizers are out, but no entrees can leave the kitchen until Maxi gets his food. Yeah, and Koi forgot about the burgers. Yeah, so, delay already, then she uh, goes to serve them, and they're friggin' ice cold. Ugh. So she's gotta refire them. Danny's plates were dirty on the bottom. I'm not sure if it was his fault or not. I don't know. The ladies' kitchen was just too crowded in general. Everybody was, like, crowded around Koi. No wonder yeah. why she didn't know what the heck she was doing. But everyone who was a guest at the party was having a great <laughs> Pretty time. Pretty much. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the episode now. 
This was so contrived, it wasn't even funny. It was like, okay, Francisco walks in with the basketball cake and just, like, dumps it behind JP. Come on, like, that would really happen? That was so phony. And uh, the little Jewish kids on the floor picking at the dead cake. <laughs> so <laughs> so <sad. far. laughs> Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, so dinner service complete. And Ramsey had a special gift for Max. Because he always has special gifts for the little kitties. What? Well, it was the Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah. <laughs> Robert remembers when they were on Scooby-Doo. Yay, there's two O's in that. Oh, By the sorry. <laughs> Scooby-Doo. <laughs> so, uh, Carol tells Andrea that she wants to punch her in the neck. I know. <laughs> How do you just come out with that? I was so angry at you, I was going to punch you in the neck. Andrea really didn't appreciate that. No, because she turned it into throat. That's yeah. a whole different thing. Neck and throat are a whole different ball game there. But she was pretty pissed. I don't think she's going to forget that one for a while. But since both teams were pretty even in the service, uh, he's basing the decision on performance. And the men slightly outperform the women. All right. The men and Lacey, that is. So the blue team wins. And Andrea, on the losing team, was uh, somebody who bounced back, in Gordon's eyes anyway. So she got to nominate two people for elimination. Yeah, so she doesn't know what to do. She's like to Ramsey, I don't know if I can do it. Yeah, because I was just as bad as everyone else, wasn't I? And he's like, stop playing the mind games, you cow. <laughs> yeah, so her first nominee was Koi. That I can see. Yeah. She forgot the burgers. Yeah. But second nominee, L.A. What? what are you, friggin' out of your mind? Why? L.A. is always strong. That didn't make sense Give me a break. Uh, Koi said that Andrea was the worst. <laughs> Just about, as she's about to get eliminated, she's like, she was the worst, chef. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody else said so, too, except for Paula. And uh, I thought for sure that Andrea, you know, the tables were going to be flipped. But no, it's Koi. She's gone. Oh. Next time, Andrea and Carol have a little eruption. And I'm not talking about cystic acne. So, uh, Lacey might quit. For no, real for this real. time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. And uh, favorite line of the episode, Robert will hang up his coat and become a crack whore. All right. Till Scooby-Doo. Much, Much love. love.